point of RNG is simple. I have a list of retro consoles and a giant library of games. I put the list of consoles into random.org, then have LaunchBox randomly select from the list of games I have for that console. When I have a game selected, we'll look up a bit about the game, then jump right into it. Alright, today on RNG, we got the Game Boy Color. Alright, LaunchBox, select a random game for their amusement, please. <laughs> today on RNG, we've got... Uh, Mr. Nuts. How lovely. Who thought it was a good idea to name a new mascot, or pretend to try to make a new mascot and call him Mr. Nuts? Well, Mr. Nuts is a side-scrolling 2D platforming video game published by Ocean Software. It was first released for the Super Nintendo in 1994, then later released for the Sega Genesis and Game Boy in the same year. The player controls the one-player character, Mr. Nuts, an anthropomorphic red squirrel, wearing shoes, gloves, and a cap through six themed levels. The end goal is to stop Mr. Blizzard, a yeti who is the final boss and is trying to take over the world by using magic powers to turn it into a mass of ice. The game shares similarities with other platformers of the same time, being that jumping is the main technique used in the game to navigate both fixed and moving platforms and defeat or avoid most enemies. The game was also going to be released for the Sega Mega Drive in 1995 as Mr. Nuts 2, but it got shelled. It's cold. It's really, really cold. And you know what? It's getting colder. The whole world is being cocooned in ice and snow by the Yeti. A gruesome beast with an icicle for a heart. His plan is to create and rule a new frozen kingdom here on Earth. Thankfully, you are, as Mr. Nuts, Super Squirrel, about to turn up the heat so that his nuts don't get frozen off. It is Mr. Nuts, guys. Oh God, is he holding his tail? I, I don't, what? Okay, oh, okay. This, <laughs> the music is actually not that bad. But do boom, 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 boom. I guess that's our, 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 our mini map. Woody land journey number one. All right. So I'm convinced that at this point, RNG is just messing with me. I also, I need to do a series based on like the differences in games. Cause nowadays by call of duty or for, for example, call of duty on PlayStation, you buy it on 360, it's the same game. But back in the day, you buy Mr. Nuts on the Super Nintendo, you buy it on the Genesis, you buy it on the Game Boy, you buy it on the Game Boy Advanced. It's a very different game. Also, the Game Boy Advanced, like, that... I... What? Okay, I don't even know that that was a thing. I was just jumping. Um... So, yeah. Oh. Uh, you buy these different, uh... Games. And you don't know what you're gonna get. Like, this is... Mr. Nuts here could probably be the best one of, like, the, the seven games he's got or whatever. Okay, so, uh, for a Game Boy game, actually just for a game in general, but I need to preface that with for a Game Boy game, because obviously, uh, an NES game would look better than this. So, I, I gotta preface it with, with this being a Game Boy Color game. And me being confused as to really what's, uh, how to progress. Like, did I just hit, like, a checkpoint and go through the stump to, like, the next part of the level? Or did I find a secret? I don't... Okay, I think I gotta throw stuff at you. Aha! Why did you have a diaper on? I don't... Okay, and uh, are there secrets up there? Why are you wearing a diaper if that's a, that's a rip-off of a piranha plant if I ever did see one? 
Okay, wait, how do I... Can I just jump? Okay. I guess I can just jump on you. So it sounds... This game sounds good. It, it plays good. It's not, uh... Like, when I jump, I don't have too much of an animation, but, uh... Yeah, there is something up there. It plays well enough, especially for being a Game Boy game. Uh, I know that's like a thing I keep saying, but you have to understand, back then, I mean, games nowadays on handhelds are competent. They're fully like 3D realized worlds. Uh, Monster Hunter 4 on the 3DS, for example. Or hell, I mean, I don't know how good the port was, but... Metal Gear Solid 3D on the 3DS. That was a PS2 game on the 3DS. Oh, so I mean, I, like I said, I don't know how competent the port actually was. I didn't, I didn't play it. But that said, nowadays, portable gaming is vastly different than it used to be. I don't even know what I just collected. Um, it was more of a crapshoot back then. You didn't really know what you were getting into. Oh, damn, okay, so I was hoping that there was going to be more of a secret. So yeah, it was a crapshoot back then. Um, and, and, you know, they had to make games for every, like everything. If it came out for the Super Nintendo and the Genesis, you got to get, get a Game Boy version in there. <laughs> um, and it was only as time went by that, you know, the handhelds uh, sophisticated enough, or got sophisticated enough. Um, so it's... It's a little surprising that this is as any fun as it is. And it's just a basic platformer. I mean, there's these are literally everywhere. Uh, but Mr. Nut has a funny name. And Mr. Nut is a squirrel. That's a little unique in the fact that it's a squirrel and his name is Mr. Nuts. That's about as far as that goes. Um, it looks pretty good considering um, the limited palette. It looks good considering the Game Boy color, and this isn't is this, this isn't black and white if I remember correctly, because not all Game Boy color games can work on the Game Boy. Some can, or rather, some are were like released as Game Boy games, but if you put them in the Game Boy color, like they get uh, they get palette options uh, where you know obviously the Game Boy originally wouldn't have it. Um, but if I remember correctly, some Game Boy Color games pretty much just turned on the grayscale and and out out it went. Um, so this, I saw screenshots of it. It was in black and white. So that's pretty. That's actually pretty impressive. Um, it looks good. There's a secret over here. Why don't we get a Mr. Nuts remake? Like, <laughs> I just want to see. Uh, somebody come out with a game called Mr. Nuts in today's day and age. That would just be hilarious. Here you go, we got Mr. Nuts. He's a squirrel that runs around. He throws nuts at you. He's got to stop the Yeti from Mr. From Mr. Freeze. He's got to stop Mr. <laughs> he, yes, Mr. Nuts has to stop Mr. Freeze. Specifically Mr. Freeze. Oh, sorry, I'm trying to concentrate, not die. Yeah, Mr. Nuts, gotta stop Mr. Freeze, gotta team up with Batman and Spider-Man, gotta take out all the, all the bad guys, all the cold-based bad guys, but, but Mr. Nuts has gotta work quickly, because who killed all the dinosaurs? Mr. Freeze, so Mr. Nuts has to stop Mr. Mr. Cold Freeze from stopping to kill the Mr. Dinosaur, and then, 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 then goes to, they go to McDonald's. Uh, and then you go to McDonald's, you get the Happy Meal. And you get the toy. This Mr. Nuts. Like, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Who thought that this, the name was a good idea? Like, really, legitimately, who thought that it was a good idea? And so far it seems to be like branching paths. Like, I went up and then I went to the left and then I was in another stage. But I probably could have kept going right. I should have kept going right. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if I'm like hitting the, the, uh, I can't tell if I'm hitting the hard areas or going like the hard route 
or anything like that. There's something down here. Can I? So like multiple paths to beat the level, but like one way is harder than the other. So far I'm getting my ass kicked by these green jumping things. I don't know what they are. Okay, I can't go that way. Oh, oh, gotta get these coins. I don't know what these coins are for. I don't know if they give me a free life eventually. If they do, <laughs> uh, you need a lot of them. Okay, just, ah, why didn't you just jump over me? I have a feeling like I'm going this way for like a big secret that I don't need. Also, I like how when I start collecting the, the pea coins, the Mr. Nuts pea, pea coins. Yeah, let that sink in for a second. Uh, how half the half the music channels stop. Always a always a fun quirk for the Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and NES games. They only have so many sound channels, so you have to dedicate, if you dedicate one to like more advanced music, well, when you pick something up or you attack or do something, sometimes half the channels will go poof. Okay, so this game isn't that hard, uh, but it's, it's pretty fun, actually. Mr. Spider Attacks! No! Um, yeah, it's really fun. It sounds good. It plays pretty good, considering... I don't know what the fuck's going on, but that thing scares me. Uh, he just, that fucker just jumped on me. I'm probably not going to win this. Um, oh God, how many hits did that take just to knock the one health bar down off? This, I may not win. We'll find out. Nope. Unless I start right here. Okay. Let's try this one more time. Ba 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 ba. Ba ba. Jazz hands. Should have called me Jazzy Squirrel. Oh! Little bastard. So that's that's a little messed up. He when he's when he's invisible, I can pass through him. But he'll turn he'll he won't necessarily go back into his hole. So like, right there, I could be having to, like, jump and, and dodge him just turning from uninvisible. His invincibility counter. Which, I don't really... I mean, I get an invincibility... Oh, I guess it lasts as long. I was about to complain that mine doesn't last as long, but actually it does. Okay, he's got one more health bar. I was trying not to hit the spider at the top, but that didn't work. Aha! I win! about to die too that was all one stage damn okay all right guys that is gonna be for this episode of rng that was mr nuts i give it seven nuts out of 12 i don't know why uh pretty good game um if you got a game boy color or you know you want to try it out i got at 69 i only got 69 percent of the level what God, those levels are huge. Um, so yeah, if you like platformers and you want, or you want more Game Boy games, or you want to try it out, yeah, give Mr. Nuts a try. Um, I would be kind of curious as to how the other versions stack up. Um, this came out to mixed reviews, but like this has a lot of charm. This could, this could have conceivably like really fit in in the day, or at least the Game Boy version. Uh, maybe the SNES and, and Genesis versions are just not that good. But this this Game Boy version, like this, is a pretty competent game. So I don't, I don't know. I like it. Uh, if you guys like it or if you if played this game, leave a comment in the below. I what the fuck tree. I would be interested to know if you guys played this as a kid or if. Uh, you're just now finding this for the first time and you think it's kind of interesting. Like, it's no Mario, but it's pretty good, right? Pretty good. All right, thank you guys very much for watching this episode of RNG. If you like this episode, please consider subscribing, thumbsing it up, and sending it to your friends. I would greatly appreciate it. Remember, I do this once every week. Uh, actually, twice every week now. I think I'm changing it up to twice every week because I really like doing this. So if you liked this episode, subscribe for more fun RNG content. Remember, play more games, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.